What's going on YouTube? I'm back with another video. And in this one, we are going to do what was going to be our BGS submission preview video, but now is an RCR preview submission video. So if you are not familiar with that, that is Beckett's Raw Card Review. And I am going to a card show in Nashville, Tennessee this weekend, and they will have RCR services on site which is $10 per card. So since some of these cards, actually most of these cards are a little bit on the lower end, I uh, figured it might be smarter for me to just pay that $10 for the RCR and kind of get an idea of if it would get a 9.5 or not. And then that way I don't waste more time and money by sending to BGS and you know getting it like officially slabbed and then that, that takes a lot longer and it is more costly. So I figured I would uh, take probably 10 or so cards this weekend to the show to get um, raw card reviewed. So I'm just going to show those off. And real quick, uh, before we do get into this, you might notice back here, I just went to Target and there is a Target about two miles from my house that I have been checking every single day because I know that they have not put out any cards since the release of Optic, the original release. There has been no cards, so I have been going there every single day and today I finally caught the vendor while he was stocking and he was a super friendly guy. I told him I had a YouTube channel and I mean, he, he probably had 15 of the Excel, the big white Excel boxes sitting there that he had to stock of Pokemon cards, uh, top series one. So he had a ton of stuff. So he was like, yeah, man, you can just wait here. You're not bothering me. So I just stood there for probably 20 or 30 minutes while he unloaded all that stuff. And finally he got to a box and opened it up. And he was like, how much do you want? And I was like, I'll take as much as I can. I didn't take it all, I did leave some. But anyway, he was a super friendly guy. He was, he actually subscribed to the channel, which was awesome. So I picked up, uh, as you can see, a bunch of mega boxes, uh, some blasters, and then another one of those hanger pack boxes. So I haven't opened anything on camera yet. I've just opened one hanger pack just off camera right when I got home because I just wanted to open something. And sure enough, I pulled one Zion's My House in the entire um, opening of stuff that I've had from Optic. I pulled one Zion and no jaw. So I, pulled, I opened one hanger pack right when I got home. We pulled a Hollow My House of Zion. And then in the Blue Velocity pack, <laughs> there you go, Blue Velocity Zion. And I think I'm going to actually take these two to get rock hard reviewed as well. Uh, the, the, the centering on this one is a little off top to bottom, but left to right looks really good. So we're just going to uh, take that and see if, you know, the edges, corners, and surface looks good enough to bump that to a 9.5. So I'll sit that back there. I uh, just wanted to mention that. So there will be a lot more optic coming on the channel. What I have is not for trade, not for sale. So what I have, I plan on open. It is for me. So uh, persistence pays off. I'll just say that. But with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and get into the 4,000 subscriber giveaway, which was a signed Frank Thomas jersey. So I'm going to cut this. We're going to do that giveaway, and then I'm going to get into some of these cards. So hold on one second, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we are ready to do our 4,000 subscriber giveaway. So I can't really show the jersey too much because it's I don't have enough room here, but it is a signed Frank Thomas jersey that was given to me by Through the Decade Sports Cards here in Louisville, Kentucky, which was super awesome and super generous. So can't thank them enough for that. And now we have our video pulled up. So we are gonna go ahead and copy our link and we will get our winner for that jersey. So again, I just wanna give a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed. And it's uh, you know just crazy that we are at 4,000 subscribers. So on that video, we got 345 comments, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and get our winner and uh, see who will get that Frank Thomas signed jersey. And that's gonna be John Horde. And he said, I would love the Frank Thomas jersey. And if I'm not mistaken, I think he might have actually just won a recent giveaway. So I, I could be wrong there, but I, I'm thinking he did. So that is pretty crazy that he is having some good luck. So if this is you, go ahead and send me an email or a message on Instagram with your address and I'll get the Frank Thomas jersey shipped out. And now let's get back to our video. All right guys, so now that the giveaway is out of the way, we're ready to go ahead and get into these cards. Now I have not looked these over extremely close. I actually did just pick up some latex gloves and some microfiber wipes on Amazon. So if you are interested in doing that as well, if you wanna 
uh, start looking at your cards and sending them to BGS or doing the rock hard reviews. I will link that stuff in the description. The microfiber wipes, I wanna say were $5 for a pack of two. And then the latex gloves, uh, I actually didn't get those on Amazon. I picked those up at Walmart for like $2. But I will link the uh, microfiber wipes that I'm going to use to wipe these down in the description if you are interested. And so, uh, again, this is just kind of the preliminary cards that I'm going to bring. I'm going to look these over real close under light and wipe them down and make sure that, you know, there's no marks or anything. And I'm just going to be wasting my time giving these to Beckett to look over. If they're not, I, if I don't think they're going to get a 9.5, I'm not going to show them. So with that being said, here is the preliminary cards that I'm going to be uh, taking with me. And I just showed you guys the blue velocity Zion, which is unreal that I, all of the stuff that I opened, I did not pull a single Zion or jaw other than that one base, my house. And then I opened one pack off camera and we pulled two. So I'm going to take the hollow, my house, and then the blue velocity. <laughs> I'm still in shock that that happened. And then this one was actually in my recent PSA submission. But I think I am just going to rock hard this one and see if it would get a 9.5. Because I still might send it to PSA, but if it does get a, a rock hard review of a 9.5, that kind of gives me a good, uh, you know, good confidence that it would probably PSA 10. So I figured, you know, that can't really hurt for $10, so give that a try. And then this one was another one, kind of the same deal. And I said in my PSA submission preview that Kobe White hasn't been really uh, too hot or playing crazy, and then he goes off for two back to back 33 point games. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do the rock hard review on this one. And this one, again, is the impact out of Revolution, which is to 149. So I'm gonna rock hard that one. And again, this is $10 per card. So I plan on taking anywhere from five to 10 cards. Like I said, I'm gonna narrow it down after I look these over a lot closer. So don't wanna really spend over $100 on this. Um, so that is the plan. And then we have the uh, Select Phenomenon, Daniel Jones and you guys know I love Select. This is just an awesome looking card. Uh, today was actually the release of first off the line Select Basketball. I did miss out on that. It didn't get as low as I wanted it to. So unfortunately, I did not get a box of first off the line. And then this one, I meant to show this yesterday in my mail day. Actually, the next couple cards I meant to show in my mail day and I completely forgot. I did not pull this myself. I actually picked this up on eBay. I want to say for like $15. And again, I just think there's so much upside on these My House inserts. It could just be the fact that I really like them, but I think especially the hollows, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll pick this up for, I wanna say $15 on eBay. I'm gonna do the rock hard review for $10. So I'm in this card $25. If it does 9.5, with with the fact that it, it being a hollow, I think you're looking at, I mean, I, I would say pretty confidently 60 to $70. So I think that's a pretty, Pretty solid ROI, not much risk there. And kind of the same thing with Zion here. I have uh, two more. So I actually did pick these up on eBay. I did not pull these myself. Uh, the only ones I pulled were just right now before this video. So I have a purple My House insert and then another hollow. So again, uh, I picked these two up in a lot with a base version. And I think that was like $50. So I'm in, I'm gonna say I'm in both of these cards, $25 and then, or $25 a piece. And then you got the Rock Hard Review, which is $10 a piece. So we're looking at 70 bucks. I think if either one of these gets a 9.5, it, it pays for it. So just my thinking there. And then we have our Silver Field Level Gardner Minshew, again, out of Select. Just absolutely love these cards. I was really happy that I did uh, hit uh, a Gardner Minshew because that is why I purchased the Jags in that first off the line break. So I did uh, hit the select field level select field level Gardner Minshew. So we're gonna rock hard that one. And then I went through all of my Seku stash and I honestly believe this is the only one I have that is worth grading. Pretty much all of the centerings on my Sekus are off. Not necessarily uh, you know left to right but the the uh, rookie card logo is way off. And I think this is the only one that has a shot to get a 9.5. Actually, real quick, I'm gonna show you guys those, just some of them. Let's see here. So you guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm looking at. Again, right there, the centering is not too bad on the orange ice. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that. You can kind of see it. 
the rookie card logo is just yeah I guess the camera's not really gonna pick it up as much as in person but the rookie card logos are just off on these so we're not gonna we're not gonna send any of them but the fanatics green cracked ice and I think this one does have a good shot I think the centering is really solid and you know as long as I look this over and the surface checks out we're gonna send that one and that is uh, pretty much it so again Nashville show this weekend is a very very big show I've been told good things about it it's like over a 200 vendor show so I plan on uh, making a video taking you guys along with me and then I will be sure to show you guys how the cards do on the RCR and that is gonna do it for the video so I hope you guys did enjoy and definitely be on the lookout for more optic because we got lucky and uh, our persistence paid off and we found some more so that is gonna do it hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon